different does this spring feel for you compared to last year? Just now you've had a year of starting under your belt. Uh, how, how different does it feel to still? Uh, well, I wasn't in spring last year. I had uh, shoulder surgery, so just being able to participate is like a lot different than just being on the sideline watching. So you, uh, so you did your players' lounge interview, and you said you gained 10 or 15 pounds. You still got those 10 or 15 pounds, and how does it feel playing heavier yourself? Uh, yeah, it feels good. You know, I haven't lost the step and uh, the speed, so it feels good. What was the, just bring more punch, or was it like something you needed to do, or what was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, it was just something I needed to do because uh, I had lost some weight uh, over the season and it got kind of low. So just getting that back up, it feels good now. The fact that you're able to participate in spring this year, how much do you think that's going to help you this coming up fall? And what are you, I guess, specifically trying to get better at this spring? Uh, I think it's going to help a lot because, you know, you only really get better getting reps and experience, you know, more experience in practice. So just getting those more reps, you know, extra reps and uh, the scrimmages we're about to have, you know, I feel like it's going to help a lot. What are your early impressions of Raylan? Uh, Raylan and uh, CJ, really all the freshmen, really, they're all just like a really athletic group. So just the hard workers, strong, fast, just really everything you want in a linebacker. Given how much you played last year and the fact that tresman has gone as well, you're one of the older guys in the room. How do, does how does that feel any different to you? Um, well, I mean, it feels different just like being an older guy in the room, I guess, because like it feels like I was just a freshman coming in, like learning it. So. Um, I wouldn't really say too different, but uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of like weird a little bit. In terms of actions that you take as an older guy that you might not have when you were younger, what what does that look like? Uh, probably just helping the younger guys learn. You know, being able to talk to them, uh, working through their mistakes and stuff like that. Just being able to help them. There hasn't been a three P since the nineteen thirties. Does that surprise you? And is that I don't know realistic or is that something we should be? You know, expecting a George, I don't want to disrespect you guys again, but mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on the whole three-peat and the fact it hasn't been done almost 100 years? Um, I mean, it's really hard to win one championship, much less three, much less three in a row. So it's, uh, I wouldn't really say surprising, but um, I mean, of, of course that's the uh, goal, but you know, it takes steps to get there. So, you know, you can't really like jump all the way to next January when we're right here in March. So, you know, you got to keep working on where we're at right now, be where our feet are. Do you ever just look around at guys like yourself and Jamon, the freshman, and just think how crazy it is that there's that much athleticism all stacked up in that one inside linebacker room? Uh, yeah, for sure. But I mean, even when I had first came in here, like I feel like that uh, the linebacker room always really been athletic with Quay, Channon, and uh, a lot of them guys that was here when I first got here versus now with uh, me, Pop, uh, Raylan, Sori, all them. So I feel like we always really had an athletic linebacker room. How important is it to be that athletic at that position? space covered is how critical is it to have athletes like that at that position yeah for sure because you kind of uh say to yourself we kind of got to do a little bit of everything so to really have the athleticism to kind of like uh just puts us in a better position did you play I, i'm guessing you played some offense and i was gonna ask you if you played offense what position did you play uh offense and college um, yeah if, if they moved you to offense you get in the box uh, i don't know probably like tight end i think try to play tight end get some weight play over there you mentioned the uh what have you seen from story so far this uh, Sawyer, I've seen a, uh, really a lot from Sawyer, just how athletic he is, you know, how he's really just picking up on things and just a lot from Sawyer. Glenn Schumann interviewed with the Philadelphia Eagles this offseason, obviously, you know, very promising young head coach. As a player of his, what has impressed you about his ability as a coach and why he's such a coveted name? Really, like, um, like Coach Schumann going to break it down to you, like, why he called some, why he did that. So, like, really just to see, like, his thought process and a lot of things, like it shows you like how much like knowledge he really has like of the game. And it's kind of just like crazy. Cause um, he can really teach us anything about like a lot of different positions, not just linebackers. So like just how much knowledge he has about like just the sport of football, like it's really like uh, impressive. What are your early impressions on the defensive line? Just the guys you got coming back this year? Uh, early impressions. I feel like they're like a, re a really good group. Physical, big, you know, um, they, like, they like being around each other. Just, you know, real connected group of guys. It was um, obviously there's been a lot off the field. How would you say that's affected the team? What, what's been your takeaways from all the off the field stuff about the film uh, specifically? Affected in what way? Well, that's, that's what I'm asking. Is is there been a change? Have you noted a, a difference in you know with with how the team conducts or how the team maybe manages themselves with all the off the field things that transpired? Um. Of course, with um, each incident is necessarily kind of different with how it was handled, but um, 
as far as like team wide, uh, if there's anything different with that, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. As you, uh, you see from video that you were there at the scene of the crash pretty quick right after it happened. Just personally, how, how has that affected you? Um, that, you know, what you saw that night and then going forward, how has it affected you or has there been any changes as a result personally? Uh, it kind of just tells you, uh, shows you how short life is and how uh, quick things can go from being up high to down low. So really just cherish your moment with your brothers and then, um, you know, never forget to tell somebody you love them, you know, even if it sounds corny, you know, it sounds kind of weird, like saying, all right, bro, love you. But like, you know, you never know when it's going to be the last time you talk to somebody. So really just cherish your moments and uh, making memories with your, uh, your brothers and your friends, not taking nothing for granted. Just have any freshmen so far practices made any plays that have really, you know, set out to you, those freshman linebackers, CJ Raylan and uh, CJ Raylan? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, not necessarily just with CJ Raylan, but I feel like they're all out there making plays, you know. Uh, I feel like that's what spring's for, you know, you're going to mess up, but really just go out there and just play loose, you know, just make plays and do what you can. For those two freshmen at your position, how valuable do you feel like it is that they are here early and, and sort of what they can do in learning to get ready for fall? Uh, I feel like it's really valuable because um, with me as a freshman coming in, I felt like uh, like you kind of get a head start on the playbook going into the summer and going into fall camp. So you're not really going to be like as uh, as confused really because like it's kind of like a, a practice fall camp really for a lot of the uh, freshmen. So like whenever they get there and things really get ro rolling again, they're going to kind of really know what's going on and then like they're not going to be as lost. What do you remember about you going through that and what's your head spinning? Yeah, um, I, I was kind of nervous before uh, spring practice my freshman year just because I was, um, I don't know, I didn't really know what to expect. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, it's was it been a long time since then. Getting to play next to Jermon again, what's your excitement level there and, and how much do you think the two of y'all still have left to show? Uh, I feel like we got a lot left to show. You know, we got a lot of room to grow still. You know, we're not really complacent and um, stuck on last year. You know, we know we still got a lot of room for improvement. So, really just working on things like that. Is there a competition for, I, I want to, you're the leading the training tag, you led the team in tackles last year. Do you guys, is, that a, is there a competition? I know some of it's just where they go because everybody kind of plays their assignment or is there a little competition of, for those type of things? Nah, really it's just like, a, uh, really everybody just trying to go out there and just make plays for the team and not necessarily make a place for themselves or for their own stats. So, like, I didn't even know I had, like, the uh, leading tackle tool. I think my dad told me sometime, like, later on in the season. So, I don't – me personally, I don't really keep up with all that. And I don't think a lot of those guys do either. You talked about wanting to improve and get better. What are some of those areas that you as an individual are trying to focus on and improve? Uh, me individually, kind of um, trying to work on my block shedding and uh, working on playing with my hands better. Yeah. That's one of the main things I've been focusing on. How – I'm sure you've matched up with the offensive line at some point. They bring back Cedric Tate. Russ Amarius is obviously a promising young player. What have you seen from them so far this spring? Uh, they're bringing back a lot of experience. So really just seeing them um, being able to communicate and uh, move around. Like, I feel uh, I feel really good about the O-line. Going back to the freshman, I know CJ and Ray are on campus, but are you doing anything to keep in contact with Troy right now since he's not here? Uh, um, I, will, I talked to Troy and whenever he was coming up here for his uh, bids and stuff like that. So we got, we got a relationship built and then um, he was up here, uh, I forgot when the last time it was, and then I got time to just uh, wrap it up with him. So it's, 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 been, uh, it's been good talking to him.